Hey there, welcome back and thanks for joining me. All my supplies and equipment are down in the description box below. They have links, so check that out. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified when the videos come out, hit the notification bell and definitely give me a thumbs up. That lets me know you like what you see and uh, I do answer comments and questions, so feel free. Okay, <laughs> I am revisiting something I did. This is not going to be my first time doing this thing. Um, let me sh this is what I'm going to work on. I was apparently just happy to paint because I kept on and on and on and on. And then I got to the point where I was like, what the heck? I'll just keep, keep going. This is generally what I want to do. I want to do some soft stuff here. I definitely want an indication of some type of line and then I want to do a couple flowers. I won't do all the rest of the stuff, but um, yeah, that's kind of my inspiration for this one. And so it's it won't be my first time to attempt something like I usually do when I paint. It's the first time I'm doing it. I'm not I'm not getting perfected on it and then showing you. I you get to see my my victories and my blunders and everything else. So, all right, I think, and I learned a lot on that. I still have the video. I don't think I'm going to put it up, though. Uh, it's just, it's too flawed. It's too much. Um, some things I did learn, I was putting the wispies. What have I got under here? Okay. I was putting the wispies um, here and then letting it run. And, and of course, I, I overdid everything. I just was so aggressive with my colors and everything went dark and lots and I want to tone some of that down. Um, so I'm going to put some stuff, you know, I, as I'm editing this, I'm like, well, I'm going to explain it to them. They already know how it turns out at this point in the game. I don't know how it turns out. So I feel like I need to explain. I'm going to stop doing that. I think because <laughs> y'all are going, yeah, we know, we know how it ends. Uh, so, all right, let's just, take off and and go um something i'm going to do here i think i'm gonna use this my dog is seriously trying to scratch his front leg and he's missing so he hits the floor <laughs> he's he's like 16 so who knows he may think he's hitting his leg <laughs> and he wonders why the itch isn't going away so <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he's almost blind. In fact, he can't feel his leg. I don't know. It's, <sighs> but he's still crazy. Oh, look at that! It's got a blue lid. <laughs> I've misplaced lids somewhere. Possibly there's a blue with a brown lid. So there he goes again. <laughs> he's they're they're funny. They're they're so funny. I mean, he can see. It's not like I'm laughing at a blind dog, but he's just, he's just, um, he's challenged. He's funny. Um, I'm going to just drop some ink and alcohol down and just kind of either let it drip, but I don't want long, thin ones. Um, so I, I don't know what I'm going to do. That was too much. Where do I want to start? I don't even know what I want to start. Caramel. Hey, if y'all like that, let me know. And keep it. Um, no, that's not what I was going for. Um, okay. It doesn't come all the way off, but, you know, I figured I was so far in the beginning. I'm going to put probably more alcohol. That's about that big. And I'm going to do one drop. We'll do this. We'll see what this does. Okay. 
while I like that, the problem is it's not drying fast. So if I just left it, I'm afraid it would run like I don't want it to. Ooh, I do not like that. Okay, I'm changing gears. Now you feel like you're at home, right? She's changing gears. All right, I'm going to put some alcohol on that. I don't like that line. All right, so in order to not have a harsh line, I guess this is what you're going to do. Well, it kind of changed my thing. Um, you know what? We're, we're going to go with it, and whatever it comes, it comes. It's just how. We'll just do that, because... Uh, salmon? We're going to do the latte. Caramel are terribly close. Um, okay, that was a lot. So, all right, I'm going to do um, some coral flowers up here, and I kind of want to do, um, <laughs> Henry, well done, buddy. <laughs> it's got to be something I'm doing, or saying, or sounding. It's, it's just, it's crazy because he knows when I'm here, I'm cleaning off the spot for him because he's going to get up here. Um, I do not know how he does it. Come here. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to take the Pinata Blanco. And I'm just going to do like little flowers. I want, I want them to stay tiny. So we'll see if, see if I can do that. I don't do that well lately. One drop. One drop. Maybe something like that. Ooh, I don't like that, but that's okay. Um, I'll do one down here.
you come on this side. Come on. No, it's going to sit down there. Bug me. Where's my wipe? I'm going to do one this way. And what do I want to do my next one? Do I want to do it in the salmon? Or do I want to do... I don't really want to do a brown one. Yeah, I'm going to do the salmon. So need much color, so much more color. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, it's I need to use more ink, which mess me in just a little bit but that I, I think I can still make something work here I know there's a little bit bigger but you know they're lighter so I guess that'll work Wish this was a little browner. This has a little bit of a green in it. Which one did I use? This was the latte. It's it's like a green brown instead of a cool brown. Well, green is cool typically. Um, I kind of want to do a little bit of this in it. Just I want to change that tone. Um, just going to put one. Okay, I definitely like that better. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Okay, yeah, I like that tone much better. So, note to self, latte and caramel are 
green base brown. <clears throat> yeah, UPS used to be green base brown, and they went to a yellow base brown, and I was like, yikes, it just, it was hard to take. I'm going to darken that up now a little bit. Okay, yeah, that's a little better. Okay, um, let me think what I want to do because I've kind of got myself in a pickle. Um, things aren't, this didn't do what I wanted, so I'm kind of at this point trying to figure it out. Um, <clears throat> let's, let's do the stems. Let's do the stuff we know first. And we can always do something later and play but we know we have to have stems so let's let's do that um oh there's one with some brown on it set that there okay And I, I will tell you, <clears throat> I don't want it to be this dark, but it's going to thin out. And when it dries, it's going to be a little lighter. I've used the other one, the Burnt Umber, that is lighter. But when it thinned out, it went lighter than I wanted. So that's why I'm going for the darker one that hopefully will lighten up. I don't want it to scream this dark, but <clears throat> I've noticed I end up getting... Um, lighter okay so i'm going to this one is pretty clear cut that the stem's coming from here so i'm going to make this one come off of it like that the next one that's more obvious is this coming from here No, I need to do this. And these I'm going to have to make up. So I'm thinking I'm going to do this one starting from this and go here and do this. Then I'm going to do that. Well, that one looks like it goes to that one, so it works for me. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go in here and add just some thickness right there. I'm going to do some uh, squiggles no. up into the flower, but I want the base no. done like that. Not a big one. I would say not even real obvious, just yeah. something like that. Oops, I stepped backwards. And that's assuming you can see all of them, but you still put it on there. Yeah. 
just because you kind of expect to see it, I think. Um, let's see. Okay, let's just do some squiggles because I know we'll want to do that. I'm thinking down here, and I'm, I guess I'm wanting something to make a call for me. get my styles. This is the smallest um, ball on the end. And I'm going to put it down and make a mark heading in the direction I want to go. So that when I blow it, and I'm just kind of pushing it a little bit, and then I'll get closer to make it squiggle. I don't want it to squiggle from the get-go on the flowers. I want it to look kind of like a vein or something. is doing it's wanting to twist on me Sorry. Because I don't want these really strong, I'm tapping and then I'm tapping it off. So it has still a little but not tons. We don't even have enough for a second one. I do think I want to do the leaves like that.
even though that last one didn't do. These are little bitty. I'm barely putting any ink down. Makes it handy when you can use both hands. <laughs> I was in seventh grade. I wrote with my left hand just cause. Just to see if I could do it. Apparently I did, so... I can bat both ways. I can't throw. I can't throw left-handed so that I can bat. <laughs> Let's see. That way or that way or a little both. Let's see. And that ends our portion of useless information that you may have now in your brain that has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> Just want to put something right there. Not much. And that is it. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know why I love those things. Oh my goodness. So at this point, I'm not sure really what I want to do. Um, here's our choices. I could put a series of lines here. <clears throat> What are you going to do, Henry? Um, I mean, I could do, you know, that. Uh, I'm not thrilled with that. I could do that. That appeals to me more. Um, there's a part of me that still wants to drip something and let it run. Um, you know, I can try it, and if I don't like it, we can just... I mean, we do that back at Wispy. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try. Um, let's do over here. Just a drop. Mm, no. No, no, no,
Okay, so no, I didn't, I didn't like that at all. Um, I could do smaller swirly things. I could do that. That would work. <laughs> so my dogs are apparently begging for food somewhere. <laughs> um, gee, what do I want to do? So I'm thinking, um, hmm. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, I think I'm going to decide on, I'm going to bring my stems all the way down <clears throat> and see if I can't do something I want to do there. kind of did something put a couple of things down here I'll try that let me put some squibbles not mini but <clears throat> I think I'm going to stop there because, um, yeah, this center one doesn't need it to be too cluttery. I do want one to go up there. There. I do like that. Okay, well that's interesting. <clears throat> Not sure what purpose that did to that down there other than color. 
Um, hmm. We'll do with that. Okay. Um, well, that's the other cat. So, let me think. Well, do I just stop? Because it's kind of interesting. I kind of hate to put lines and stuff on it. I kind of want to do something, though. <clears throat> You know, I do. I think I'm going to stop. I am. I am. I just don't know what else I can do that is going to uh, help. You know, ooh, ooh, ooh. <clears throat> I could put lines down through here, make it almost something. Okay, I'm going to take a picture in case I like this one. Brown is dark. These two are dark. I'm looking through my viewfinder and I'm really seeing some stuff I don't see sitting down. All right, this is something I'm going to do. I'm going to wad this up. Try to get some different pieces there. I'm not going to saturate it all, just a little bit. And I want to do that. I'm not sure what that just did. Okay, well, <laughs> there's noise in the house, so the rest of this will be voiced over. Um, so what I'm, I'm doing, I'm going to add some more. I'm going to add some lines. So I take a business card. You can do a credit card, cardboard, whatever you want. And I'm dipping it in the dark brown that I did the stems and the little leaves with. And and I'm not even covering all my card. It's just putting some uh, some lines on there, but they're all broken up. And I really like that part of it. So I do that along the bottom just to add something different, another thing to look at. Now here I'm going to try to mix up a magenta, orange, and white to get that coral color. Um, not sure if I can, but I obviously know it has a red and white in it. Um, the orange is pulling a little bit of a color, the coral color into it. Wow. And... So I just keep mixing until I get it dark enough in the right shade. And during these times is when you really start understanding what's in a color. And, you know, when you start trying to mix it and match it, you're realizing all that goes into it. It's pretty cool. I finally get it, to my surprise, <laughs> closer than I thought I was going to. So, I've, I've, uh, I'm pretty happy with this. So, I'm going to put some lines of this color in, too. And just kind of bring that coral color all the way down.
Yeah, that one in the middle is a little much, so I'm just dabbing off some of it to kind of tone it down with the rest of them. Nope, I didn't say goodbye because I thought of one more thing I wanted to do. <laughs> I'm still not loving the uh, the first thing I did. I still don't love that. So now I'm going to change it up again. Now because of the acrylics dried, it's not being bothered by the spraying of alcohol. So I just sprayed that and kind of blotted up that background. It kind of pulled more white into it and I'm liking it now. All right, now y'all go have fun.